Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. And as you guys can see, I actually have two boxes here. I'm going to be unboxing my order from Oristel. Um, she was doing a free shipping event and then also um, she released the A5 Magical Aries. I think that's what she's calling them. Uh, but basically they're the new style of A5 covers for the sewn bound planners that she has. So I picked up that and then also uh, another A5 wide rings because you guys know that I'm pretty obsessed with the clap planners. So I'm going to start with this first box here. So if you guys have never ordered from Oristel, all her planners come in this beautiful box. It says make time for what makes your soul shine. And I just love the interior of it. Super cute. So it looks just like that. I'm going to pop this to the side and all your planners do come in a beautiful dust bag. So that they are protected and as you guys can see I have picked up another cloud planner in the A5 wide size so this right here is called Cinderella it's a beautiful uh, mid-tone blue it's not too pastel but it's not a bright blue either I got it with the gold hardware um, the Cinderella color has been a color that I've had my eye on. It's one of the colors that I feel like a lot of people this year have been using. So I did want to pick it up before it was gone. Now this one does have the old pocket configuration. So let me go through it with you. So the old style does have the kind of window pocket here, which you could put some stuff in. You have the two side pockets here. You have one pocket that goes all the way down this one also goes all the way down and then, then it's kind of split down here um, and then you also get a little sampler from Scribble Prints Co which I think is really cute um, in this one you do also get the hybrid system so you have the ring mechanism as well as the two strings so they are on either side I'm just going to remove this so we can see it a little bit better but on the back, you do also get two secretarial pockets as well as the two elastic pen loops, which is my favorite. And then it has like the logo here at the bottom, just kind of hot stamped, which I prefer. And it's not too flashy, not in your face, but it's still there, nice and pretty. Um, I really love this leather. It's a lightly pebbled leather. It's not the super large one but it does have a little bit of texture to it, so I love it. Like I said, this is a color that I've been meaning to get for a while, and although she comes out with new colors, um, I think this older format, the pocket configuration just seems to work the best for me, which is why I like to um, purchase these ones over some of the newer ones that she has released. But yeah, I picked up Cinderella. I think it's so pretty the perfect kind of blue color I am gonna move into this right away so I may film a video of the setup let me know if that's something you want to see but I'm gonna be moving my shop stuff into here um, there are just a few things that I need in rings rather than in a spiral bound so um, I'm gonna keep that information in here so that I can reference it when I need to but I think the a5 wide side is a beautiful size um, it has enough space for everything literally so I gravitate to it a lot it's especially great if you don't need to carry it around anywhere so this is the first one that I got super pretty and this will pretty much round out my collection for the a5 wides I do have quite a lot of them already uh, but this was the last kind of color that I really want I still want that like frosted white one um, but that she hasn't released that anymore, so I don't know if she's going to be doing those anymore. But if you have one and you're selling it, let me know because that's the only other color that I would love to get in the A5 wide. So let's move on to the second box here. This is probably the thing that I feel like most people are excited about um, because it's the new one, the newest design. So let me pull everything out. So this one does come with the little card here and this time it says thank you. And this one does tell you how to take care of all your planner goods. So that's really nice, really pretty. And then here's the dust bag. So the dust bag is a little bit smaller, but it's pretty much the same as the other one. 
Okay, so I did not buy the planner again. I just bought the cover. As you guys know, I did get the Sunset Camellia in the Airy. So I do have an unboxing of this one. And this is where I have my Hobonichi cousin. So this is the Avec version. So I have this here right now holding that. And I really love it. I wanted a pink color just because I feel like pink matches with pretty much anything, any stickers, um, any kind of layout you do, it will match. But I did also want to get a neutral color, something like a brown, so that I can use it in the fall and winter. So I felt like it was a perfect time to pick this up. She does have like a kind of beige and a brown in the Aries, but I wasn't really fond of the color choices and the texture of the leather. I prefer like the smoother leather or what you just saw in the a5 wide which was um, kind of like a pebbled leather. I prefer those rather than the Crocs and things like that. Um, so when I saw that she was going to release these, I was interested in it. I felt like this caramel color was the best color out of all of them. She has some really cool bright colors as well but those are not really my thing. I prefer pastels or neutrals um, and the brown one really spoke to me. I felt like the leather looked really beautiful. It looks very warm on camera um, and in person I was surprised by it. I feel like it's a little more of a cocoa brown color but I still love it nonetheless. You do still get the scallop um, detail which you guys know I love and then what's unique about this cover is that it does kind of have that Disney or magical theme to it so instead of having like a heart or like a circle clasp you have the little Mickey head which says or Estelle on it which I think is so cute and then on the inside it looks like this so the pocket configuration is different than the airy as you guys can see here in mine, if you do get the scallop pocket, you have the scallop pocket here. Then you have um, a bunch of different pockets and a secretarial pocket as well as a side pocket here. So with this one, it's a little bit more minimal. So you guys do still get the side pocket, but you don't get as many pockets going this way. So you only get two. And these ones are actually quite large. Um, I don't know if you can fit like a quarter sheet in there. But my mini sheets for my shop will definitely fit in there and they seem like they are depth adjusted so they don't go all the way down here. They stop around here which is always nice. It just means that your stuff is not going to get lost in the pocket. I'm not a huge fan of like this kind of slit pocket detail. I definitely do prefer like these type of pockets where you know it's like the leather piece rather than the slit but I think I can still deal with that and then what's unique about this one is you do get a secretarial pocket but it's a little bit um, smaller it's not doesn't go the whole length and it does have this cute detailing in this case you have a creamy background with the brown spots which is super cute and then you have the little Mickey head detail which is actually also a pocket so you can pop something in there as well um, and it seems like it would stay put. So that is really cool. I really like that feature. And again, you have this side pocket as well. And then you have your two bookmarks. These are ribbon bookmarks. And then you do just have the little stoppers here at the end. Those are little circles. And then you have a spot for your charm, which I'm definitely gonna be adding a charm here. And then over on this side, um, you do get two more pockets. So this is where you would slide in the back of your notebook. So whether that be the notebook that she did with Annie Plans or Hobonichi or Stalogy, um, that's where it would fit. And then you have a secretarial pocket. So this one is a little bit taller, but it's still quite narrow. Um, let's see, seems like a functional pocket to me. Um, and then again, it has that cream and brown polka dots and then in this case um, the pen loops are here instead of obviously on the side um, with my airy you do get the pen loops this way let me test them out so with this one you get the one with the leather and elastic so I have just added a mild liner there and then Instead of doing the leather and elastic for the second one, this one is just an elastic. I think she did that so that the tabs don't get ruined 
um, on your notebook. So I'm gonna pop a pen in there and see how that fits. Um, also at the bottom here, I do want to mention that she added um, this little tag which has the logo on it. She doesn't do the hot stamping anymore, which I am disappointed in. I really, really don't like this, to be honest. With the other one, it's fine because you can actually hide it. So it's here on the other one. So if you put your pencil board there or your stickers, or in my case, I have the printables from my shop for the Hobonichi Cousin, um, you don't really see it that much, so it's fine. But in this case, because it is sitting here, you are gonna see it no matter what. So even if you put your notebook in it, this will still be visible. I kind of wish you put it here or maybe even here so you wouldn't really see it too much, but you kind of don't really have a choice unless you're willing to cut it off, which I'm not sure that I'm ready for. But um, I'm gonna grab my day free because that's the planner that I'm gonna be using in this. So I'm gonna pull mine out of my Animal Crossing cover first and we'll see how it fits in it. So the day free is not as thick as the full year, so just keep that in mind. I don't have the full year this time. Um, I used it last year, but I found it to be a little bit too thick. So I moved to the Avec this year and I'm using a day free as well. But this is what it looks like if you don't put the cover in. So it seems fine, the fit is great. Um, you still get quite a bit of room on the top and at the bottom here. So if you are thinking about having a jelly cover on it, you definitely can. In terms of the fit though, I do find that this pen loop here, this one, the second one, if I have a pen in there and my myliner, um, it does hit my tabs a bit. So that is the only thing, unless I kind of move it out and don't keep it like flush in, um, I guess it wouldn't matter too much, but that is just something that I have noticed. Um, in this case, I do have the plastic tab, so it's fine if it bends a little bit, but if you are using like just paper tabs, um, it might run into an issue with the two pen loops here. If I take it out though, um, it seems like you can fit it better like that. And this is what I mean about this black thing always showing, even if you have it flush in, nothing is gonna really cover this. So I'm not a huge fan of this. I wish that that was not there, but let's try to put the cover here in the front section and see how that fits. So with the day free, you do have plenty of room to grow. So if you do sticker up your Hobonichi, then it should be fine. I think if you had a full year Stalogy, it would be okay as well. I'm gonna pop the pen in once again. And let's see the fit. So yeah, I think the only issue that I would have is this pen always hitting the side of the planner. because it's so close to the tab, so that is the only complaint that I would have. But I like that you get the two buttons to choose from, so that if your planner is really stuffed and really big, you can use the outer one, and it gives you a lot more room. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but that pen keeps hitting the side of the notebook there, so. Just keep that in mind if that is something that bothers you. Um, but my planner cover does lay flat. I did have a little bit of a concern with this one um, and it not laying completely flat in the beginning. Um, I know some of you have messaged me about your planner covers from Oristel not laying flat and kind of sitting at an angle like this and no matter what you guys did, it wouldn't lay flat. Um, I haven't had that issue, so I can't really comment on that. Um, however, this cover seems to be a little bit more floppy than my Airy here, so um, I feel like that wouldn't be such a huge issue. Now, I can't say it's the same for all the colors in this collection um, since 
some of the materials do differ from cover to cover so if you have any concerns about your cover I would definitely suggest contacting or Estelle and letting them know your concerns I'm sure they'll help you out but um, yeah I think this will be a great cover for my day free I'm gonna start using this day free again um, I was using it for YouTube but I did switch out to an Erin Condren compact vertical I do have other plans for YouTube um, in the next coming months so I need a place to kind of brainstorm it and write it all down so I'm back to using my day free for me I'm gonna keep the cover in like this because I don't like having to open things twice with two covers um, so yeah let me know if you guys would like to see a planner set up for this cover as well as the other one I think it'll be really cute for fall and winter so I'm really excited about it. I really like this leather. It's nice and smooth. Um, and this color is definitely a brown that I can work with. It's not too gray tone. Um, and it's warm enough that I feel like it'll match with a lot of the stickers that I like to use in my planner. But anyways, guys, that is everything that I want to share with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and my little thoughts and review about this new magical cover from Oristel. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. And if you guys are interested in any stickers or printables for your Hobonichis and A5 wide planners, I do have stickers and printable inserts in my shop. So don't forget to use the code SAVE10 for 10% off of your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.